Hello, <laughs> hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hey y'all. Thank you for joining us once again for Fill Up Friday. Yes. We are so excited to be here and we are super excited Woo. that you have taken out some time to join us. Oh my goodness. We have had, we had a good conversation, blessings, yes. um, for forgiveness. It was amazing. It, it set some folks free. It, I was blessed by it. We hope that you were blessed by it. Were y'all blessed by absolutely. it? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was absolutely, absolutely. amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes. Before we get started, please follow us at Coming Up for Air Counseling Ministry. Follow yes. us and share. Yes. Could you do that for us? Yes. Follow and share. Follow share and with share. your friends. And family, amen. Please amen. do it. Amen. Please do it. <laughs> and this month we are talking about restoration. Restoration. So the topic this month is restoration. Are y'all ready? I Ooh. am so ready. Tonight, Dr. Nelson is going to lead us off for the month on restoration. She's coming out of First Peter 5 and 10. First Peter. Five and ten. So I'm, I'm ready. I hope you are ready and that you are blessed by this message. This Amen. whole month of restoration. Amen. 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 Dr. Amen. Nelson. Amen. I am Dr. Jacqueline Nelson. I have the awesome privilege of being um, the one that chose our topic for this month on restoration. And I want my good girlfriend next to me to introduce herself. I'm Minister Deacon D. McGee. And you hear me say Deacon? Because I'm both. I'm just both. <laughs> but I am looking forward to restoration, to coming back yes. where yes. I'm supposed to be. Yes. 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 So I am going to let Dr. Nelson take this and feed us till we want no more. <laughs> they put a lot of pressure on me, too. I want you to know that this is such an amazing. <laughs> Uh, time is the, the weather um, is so beautiful outside. And so to gather here together uh, face to face, heart to heart is really a tremendous undertaking for us. Um, sometimes we get a little nervously excited because we know what the power of God can do yes. when you settle yourself to receive all that God has for you. Yes. So that's our prayer for you tonight is that you allow God to just just bathe you with God's word. And as we talk about and discuss um, our topic on restoration, listen, chime in with your, with your comments. I'm on Facebook Live and check us out on Instagram. Because listen, we're trying to go everywhere yes. with God's yes. word. Because God's word has the yes. power. It'll take the wings of the morning Jesus. and it'll on. land on somebody that needs it. Mm. and will bless them abundantly. Yes. So your assignment, as you're listening to us, All right, assignment. is to share and comment. <laughs> comment and share. Yes. And yes. let the word take the wings of the morning. Yes. yes. And yes. go where God wants it to go. Yes. So let's go to God in prayer. Hallelujah. Get ready to Amen. Begin. Eternal God, we thank you so much yes, God. for this time that we are gathering together. Yes, God, God, you are so awesome in all that you do in the lives of your people. Yes, you are. We thank you, oh God, for just being who you are. God, we're looking out and we're seeing how the flowers are blooming. Yes, it's God. because of you. Yes, we're yes. looking out and see how bright the sun is shining. It's because of you, God. You flung the stars in the sky. Mm. It's because of you. Yes, God. So now, God, here we are gathered around the table, God. Oh, so many important things happen in the lives of people when you gather around the table and you Jesus. talk about the things yes. of God and you yes. talk about the people of God yes. and how God is blessing and moving yes. in such a time as this. God, I know so much is happening in our world, but God, none of it is greater than you. Mm -hmm. You have the power, oh God, yes, to oh change God. things yes, with just God. a word. You yes. have the power to change seasons with the with the blowing of your breath. Yes, and oh so God. God, we know that you are able, God, to restore. Yes, God. To yes, restore, yes. to bring back, yes, oh God, are, that which yes, thinks that it is lost from you. Yes. So that's our topic this month, oh God. Jesus. Breathe on it now, God. Blow breathe, on it now, breathe, God. Breathe, and breathe, let it be what you assign. Thank, thank you, God. And we yeah, yeah. thank you now. I thank you thank for you, oh Minister Lisa, our vision. Oh, I thank, thank you for you, Deacon D, oh God. I thank you for Tanisha. I thank you for Janelle, oh God, that's yeah, following yeah, yeah. us on Facebook, oh, yes, God. oh God. Thank you, oh God. And God, in the name of Jesus, be a healer. 
Yes, oh God. And you know where to send your healing. Yes, Lord. Oh and we thank you now for all that you're going to let us experience in this moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. 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 Ooh, that amen. word restoration yeah. just hit me. Ooh, just yes. not like it just hit. You just... know when you've been a recipient. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God's oh my God. restoration. You Jesus. You, you can't be still. Ooh. Yes. Yes. You can't be still. You can. Hallelujah. You thank or you, God. You can't be still or silent. Jesus, yes, and yeah, still yeah. Silent, thank right? you, because God. When you've been out there and you felt like you couldn't make it back. It's God's restoration that brings you back. Yes, it's so, amazing. So, yes, it's it is. amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, God. Yes, yes. So, listen, we, we last month, as our Minister Lisa was saying, last month, our conversation centered around the topic of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And um, and we had an amazing time talking and praying through all yes. what it means to forgive not only others, but to forgive ourselves. Yes. We, we found out while we were talking about forgiving other people, we needed to forgive our own selves yes. too, yes. so that yes. we can be all that God Absolutely. has um, designed us to be. Mm -hmm. We were blessed by the giftedness of Minister Lisa as she brought forth a word, and Minister D as she brought forth hers, and they poured into us all that God God had given them yes. to share. Yes, and for God. that, we are grateful. But this month, this, this month, month, our topic is restoration. Yes, God. There are a few little definitions of restoration that I just want us to kind of um, um, look at. Um, restoration is the action of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. Mm -hmm. Restoration is the act of restoring. Um, it's the act of renewal and revival or reestablishment. Um, the state or act of being uh, restored. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a return to something. Mm. It's, it's mm -hmm. to a former or, or, or original, normal, or an unimpaired condition. Um, restoration um, of something is something that's taken, restitution of something that has been taken away or something that has yes. been lost. But this is the one that caught my heart, that caught my attention. Restoration is the act or the process of returning to its earlier good condition mm. or position good. or to its good. owner. Good. Mm. Or to its owner. I, let me, I think I need to yeah, say that yeah, one yeah, more yeah, time. Yeah, that good. That good <laughs> one more time. It's mm -hmm. the restoration is the, the act or the process of returning to its something to its earlier good condition mm. Mm. or position mm. or to its owner. Mm. And so in thinking about this, this topic, I was thinking about this um, um, passage of scripture um, and, it's, and, and it's not where I'm necessarily going to be landing, but it's the overarching scripture that's driving this restoration piece this month. Yeah. And so 1 Peter 5 and 10 says the following. It says, after you have suffered mm. a little while. A little while. <laughs> uh, Come we on. stop right there. Come on. <laughs> Ah, After you would have suffered a, a little, little while. while. A little while. The God of all grace, Jesus, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself rescue, confirm, strengthen, mm -hmm. restore, mm -hmm. and establish. Woo! Come on now. Come on now, first people. After you suffer for a little while. This passage of scripture mm. is my foundation for what it means for us to be restored. It tells us that we should understand that in life, you're going to go through some tough times. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. if I was in church, I would say, can I get an amen? Yes. <laughs> if you live this life long enough, if you stay on these mundane shores, you're going to go through some suffering sometimes, some tough times. You will experience some hardships, but thanks be to God. Yes, God. That there is a time limit. Yes, God. attached to your <laughs> suffering. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Woo, that's good to me. Thanks, Jesus. There's a time limit attached to your suffering, and going through life's challenges have time limits attached to it, and your difficulties have a time limit stamped on them. But the Jesus. thought that drives me to this particular topic is the fact that sometimes 
we think that we have done so much mm -mm. and gotten so far from God mm. that we can't come back. Mm, mm, mm. Help us. Sometimes, Help us. sometimes. Let's just be real. If you can, you can type it in the chat. Sometimes that we think that we have done so much and that we have gotten so far from God that we can't come back. Mm. But our God, yes, God, is a restorer. Yes, a restorer. our God is a restorer of things and even people who feel that they are lost. Jesus. Yes. People yes. that think that they can't get back, that they've done so much. And sometimes we do things. Sometimes we act in ways that may not be pleasing to God. I know I know, I have. I, I, I can't talk about nobody else. I can't talk about what, Lisa, what Minister Lisa may have done or Minister D or what you may have done. But I can talk about me. Mm -hmm. That there have been yeah. times in my life where I know I messed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I've gone through some things. I know I've, 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 I've heard I've, I've suffered some things that I think that I'm out there. Yeah. And I'm so far out there that I can't get back yeah, yeah, to yeah. God. But yeah. our God is a restorer. Yes, yes, we can, yes, we can yes, sometimes yes, be yes, like, yes. The, like the sheep yes. that the shepherd cared for. Yeah. And with our heads down. Yeah, yeah. With the, as the sheep with their with the heads down and not paying attention to what's happening. We can nibble ourselves mm. right away from God. We can just nibble ourselves yes, away yes, from yes, God. Yes, we yes. get out there and we think we're doing a good thing and we think everything is all right and we think we can live like any old kind of way like we oh. want to live it. And Come before we now. know, we have now. nibbled ourselves away from God. We have nibbled, nibbled ourselves away nibbled. from God. Come, Come on, on. Come on, Come on, Come on now. We have worked our way. We didn't we, 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 we started out, you know, by saying, I'm not going to go or I'm not gonna go on Facebook Live this Sunday, or, or I, I'm not gonna go on uh, 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 on on uh, YouTube this Sunday and watch church. Nipple number one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then uh -huh. next thing you know, you decide. Well, you know, well, I didn't make it to church. I nibble my way away from church on Sunday. That uh, your next nibble is. Well, you know, I'm busy. I ain't gonna make it to Bible class on Wednesday. Nibble mm -hmm. number two. We will fool <laughs> around and nibble ourselves right away from God. And then we'll nibble for so long until we think we've nibbled so much we mm. can't get ourselves back to God. But that's the lie. That's the lie. Be to God. Yes. That we can get back. Yes. Thank you. But our Jesus. God is a restorer of yeah. things and people that are lost. Yeah. We can sometimes feel like those sheep, like I said. And, and but what but what gives us joy is knowing that God will leave the ninety and nine. Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What gives us joy, and it ought to give you joy, yeah, is that God will leave the ninety and nine mm. and come and find you, yeah, and put you Lord. back, yes, God, in the Thank right you, place Lord. that you need to be. I love the image of when the shepherd leaves the ninety nine sheep; they all together, the ninety nine, because they all right, they're feeling all right, they're in the right place under the right shepherd, doing the right thing, nibbling in the right grass, doing what they're supposed yeah, yeah. to do. Nibbling in the right, yeah, yeah. The right grass. The God, <laughs> the shepherd looks around and finds out and he comes. 91 or 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on. 99. 99. Yeah. And you number 100 Jesus. that has nibbled yourself away and the shepherd will make sure that the 99 are okay and he will go off looking for you. Yes, sheep yes, yes. number 100. Jesus. Anybody ever been sheep number 100? Amen. Amen. Sheep number one. Come on, come on. 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 And we know things can get lost and we can get out Jesus. there. Ask, ask the prodigal son. Yes. Can you get lost and get out there? Yes. And need to be restored. Yes. But the, the, the shepherd goes after sheep number 100. Come on. And when he finds sheep number 100, he don't get mad and throw a staff at sheep number 100. But what he does is he goes up to sheep one number 100 and picks it up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 not not make it even walk back. Picks it's it up. Yeah. Carry. Puts the sheep on his shoulders. Jesus. And carries it back. Oh my God. To the 99 and gently Hallelujah. sits it down. Thank where you, it's God. supposed to be. I don't fool around. Hallelujah. My, Thank I you, That's my own self up. <laughs> <laughs> that description. That visual. I've been picked up, y'all. And on I've been carried, y'all. On the shoulders of the shepherd. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's a sermon all by itself. Hallelujah. Right Thank on you. The that sermon, preach, on that the shoulders preach. of the shepherd. So has that been your story? 
You were going along in life. Your relationship with God was intact. You were walking close together with God. I mean, you were doing right things, right? And they were as they should have been done. But then you did something. Mm. Or you did some things. And before you knew it, you had wandered away from God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wandered away from Christ, the things of, of Christ. And, and there you were out there. You were out there trying to figure it all out. Asking yourself, how did I get so far? Yeah, yeah. Off track. Yeah. How did I get to this place? Yeah. How, how, how? And how did I wander so far away from what I know is right? Yeah. That I'm out here trying to figure out how I can get my way back. I, 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 I know someone mm. in the Bible mm. who experienced this very thing. So this is where I want to land tonight. That, 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 that there's someone, there's a person in the Bible that experienced this very thing. They, they had that close relationship only one day to find themselves distant from the shepherd, mm. away from the herd, and believing he had messed up so bad that he couldn't get back. Mm. Walk with me for a minute. Mm. Yes, yes. Come on. I want us to look at Peter. Peter. Mm. The Apostle Peter. Mm. The Apostle Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. You know him. If, if you don't, I'm going to introduce you to Peter. He was the brother of Andrew. And they were workers as fishermen. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. Jesus called them to join his ministry, they were fishing by the, by the lake. And the, the brothers left their fishing nets mm -hmm. and joined Jesus to become fishers of men. Of me. Much like many of us. You remember when you when you God called you and you finally heard the voice of God through the person of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and the power of the Holy Spirit and you gave your life to Christ. Yeah. You came trembling down the aisle. I don't know how you did it, but you came trembling mm -hmm. down the aisle. Yes. Or maybe you Tears decided in the aisle. at home Tears that in it's the aisle. my time to give my life to Christ. And you have built that relationship up, up and, and much like many of many of us have done, we left what we used to do and started following the living and the life that God had for us. Yes. 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 God has from Lisa. You look like you. No, I'm yeah, uh -uh. Okay, all right. So, 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 so they. So you, we left what they what we used to do, and 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 the Bible says, and and I'm just kind of walking through Peter's life a little bit. So here we are. He, he is. He's in relationship with with Christ. They they walking together. He's one of his disciples, and they're together, and they been journeying together. And one piece in here says, and in, in, in Luke uh, chapter. Uh, uh, 22 in verses 31 and 32 is it, it has some interesting things that it says in here and this is at the last supper mm -hmm. they're at the table at the kind of like we are at the at the table at the last supper and 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 jesus warned mm -hmm. peter mm -hmm. yeah yeah he warned simon peter because remember his name was simon but he says i'm changing your name to peter mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know that's how you know he was walking close to him he was walking so close to him until he changed his name from Simon, he changed his name to Peter. Mm -hmm. He yeah, says, yeah. because you are rock, Change. you are stone. Change. He yeah. changed his name to Peter. And so here they are at the last supper, and Jesus warned Peter that a test of his faith was coming. Mm. Oh, my God. A test. At, you, you sitting at the table. You've had communion. You know, they broke bread together. Mm -hmm. He's blessed the bread, and then he's giving it out, mm -hmm. and they eat the bread together, and he's Bless the, the wine and, and then he's given it and he told him drink ye all of it and, and take it because it's my blood and eat the bread because this is my body which is going to be broken for you and they've done all of that and they've had it commune together and now they're sitting back and relaxing and, and Jesus says to, to Simon Peter, Simon Peter Simon Peter Simon, Simon. Satan mm. has asked for you yeah. whoa <laughs> Satan has Jesus. asked yes. for you. Yeah. Let, me, let, let me tell you what, what messed me up. Satan had to ask. For he had to ask. Mm. <laughs> come on now. Satan had to ask for you. Yeah. He couldn't just come and get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So the next time you think that he got you, Jesus. maybe he yes. asked for you. Because there was something that God needed you to learn for the next step on your journey. Mm. So, so, so he says, Simon, Simon. Satan, Satan has asked for Satan. you that he may 
sift you as sift sweet. Sift you. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I thought about this whole thing about sift you as sweet. My mama, my, my mm-hmm. mother, God rest her soul, my mother used to bake cakes. Those, you know, she ain't buy no box. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she ain't buy no box. She made her cakes from scratch. Yeah, and so yeah. they got the flour. And because flour has those those hard pieces, those kind of impurities, they had this little sifter. Mm-hmm. And it was like a little cup, but you mm-hmm. can squeeze it. Ooh. Yeah. You mm-hmm. can squeeze it. And yeah. so you, you put the flour into the cup. And you and they would squeeze it, and they squeeze the flour, and the good flour would fall down in the bowl, but the impurities wow. would stay in the in Woo. the cup. And so you get, it, and if they couldn't get it all out, they tap on the on the yam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody out there say, man, they yeah. tap that side <laughs> to get all that, and they shake it. And yeah. that's what that's what Satan, Jesus is telling Peter that Satan desires. He wants to put you in the, he wants to sift you, mm. he wants to shake up Jesus. your very life. He wants to sift you like wheat. Because you know when they sifted wheat, they would put it in a big basket and they would shake it and then they throw it up. Mm-hmm. And they come back down in the basket and they mm-hmm. and then they shake it some more and then they throw it up. Jesus. That's how our lives have been. Yeah. That's how our lives have been. God and, and sometimes will throw us up and everything is going all right and then we fall down in the, the basket of stuff that we ain't, and stuff be in us that ain't supposed to be in there. Jesus. And so we have to be sifted. Sifted. You have to be sifted. I'm, I'm, I ain't none of this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, come on. So, so he says, Simon, he says, he desires to sift you as wheat. As wheat. And he says, but, the, but the, the key thing to all of it is the end part where Jesus said, even though he asked for you, he yeah, yeah. asked to sift and he wants to sift you like wheat. He says, but Simon Peter, know this that I have prayed for you. For you. Mm. Hallelujah. I for you. Mm. A prayer, a prayer of restoration. Mm. That when you get out there, ah! that you understand that you get to stay out there. Because I pray for you. I pray. No matter how hard, yeah, yeah. how tough, how rough it gets, always remember I pray for you. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you need to get you a sticky note. Jesus. I don't know if you need to get you a notebook. I don't know what you need to get, but write it down. Uh, those of you that may be listening to me that's in a hard place that think you so far from God that you hey! can't get Ooh, back. Jesus. Remember, he said, I have prayed Jesus. for you. For you. Mm, Jesus mm, praying. Mm, Jesus. The prayers of Christ. It's mm, not depending mm. on whether or not you are connected to him yet. Because the very fact that he prays for us is what drives us to him. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. So he said, I pray for you. My God. Huh. My God. Oh. I pray I, for you. I'm, try, I'm trying to see. Stay in the seat, Dr. Nelson. I'm, about to try. I'm trying to keep going. I'm trying. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Mm. It's almost like Simon mm. Peter at mm. that mm. point. What scholar said it was almost like Simon Peter seemed to be in the same predicament that Job was in. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. When when Job, um, uh, when Satan Jesus. sought to put him, uh, to put him to the test, just like Job, Satan wanted to sift Peter like wheat, which means that he wanted, he wished to shake Peter's faith mm-hmm. so forcefully that he would fall, proving that God's faithful servant was lacking. Mm-hmm. Ah, but thanks be to God, you didn't fall. Mm. You got shaking. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> Satan you wanted to sh- it. You got <laughs> sick. <laughs> but you didn't fall. <laughs> but you didn't fall. <laughs> Satan wanted to shake up Peter's life. And 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 and, 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 and you gotta ask yourself, what's in the flower of your life? Mm. Yeah, yeah. What's in the that flower of your life? Shifted so that the good parts that God has for you will fall in the, the bowl of the divine assignment that's on your mm, life mm. that God has for you. And so all the things that God has designed for you to, to be a witness in the, in, in, in the earth and in the kingdom of God, he works through your life, the, your essence and your, your character in order to do it. That's why you have to be, sometimes you gotta go through some stuff. See, in sifting Peter and the other disciples that sweet, Satan's goal was to crush and to wreck their faith. Mm. But somebody yeah, ought to be a witness that it was the shaking yeah, of your life yeah, that helped yeah. you to see that if it wasn't for the God that's in my life, the shaking might have took me out of here. Jesus. 
but it shook me enough to remind yeah, yeah. me that he prayed for me. That he prayed. That for he me. prayed. Restoration. You may wonder sometimes why you have your ups and your downs in life. And could it possibly be that the sifting is happening so that the true essence of who you are can come out? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes the suffering, that hard place mm -hmm. to bring out the faith that God has placed in your life. Yes. You're doing Jesus' ministry. Peter was a man who wanted a mighty faith. A faith, but but he faltered sometimes. Y'all know Peter was the one that Peter was the, the one that when they were on the mountain of transfiguration and, and he saw Elijah and Moses and Jesus up there. It was Peter was the one that he wanted to stay up there and let's make us some some stones and make us some tabernacles mm -hmm. up here. And Jesus mm -hmm. said, This ain't where we're supposed to be, Peter. Mm -hmm. This ain't mm -hmm. where the work is supposed to because Peter was that one, you know, he just kind of spoke a lot, like kind of like me. Supposed to speak a lot, uh, and he just say stuff. He meant well, but he wasn't always well. Mm -hmm. So he would say some things, you know, they're on the Mount of Transfiguration. And Jesus, that's not it, Peter. And so mm -hmm. Peter stepped into the, the sea, and he had faith enough to step out of the boat, but he didn't have enough faith to stay on the water. And so mm -hmm. he started to sing. So Jesus had to go pick him up out of out of the water so that he wouldn't drown. And so Peter was the one that that that, that Jesus Jesus did not, and, and, and I need to say this, Jesus did not promise to remove Peter's impending test. Mm. But he said, he predicted that Peter would fail the test a few more times in his life. Isn't that something? Mm. My that, God. He, that he had to let you know, because sometimes when it comes to, to being restored, you got to recognize you're not all of that. You're yeah. Not. yeah, yeah, yeah. For as long as we've been walking with God, you're not all of that. Mm. As long as we've been walking with Christ, we still need to be restored. See, trials are to be expected in the life of a Christian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. must go through hardships, but when we turn away from God, we must remember he is the restorer of those back into relationship with God. Restoring us back in crit is critical because it positions us to be put back into the place where we can effectively carry out God's plans for our life. Mm. Some of the very things that you've been through, some of the hard places that you had to sit in, some of the rough places that you've gone through, those are the very things that have helped you to understand the power of God in your life. Yes. The sifting, when he brought you back from that stuff, that's Jesus. when you recognize the power of God at work. Yeah, my God, yeah, my God, yeah, my yeah. God, my God. After all the impetuous Peter had gone through, God never forgot the assignment mm. that was on Peter's life. Mm -mm. Remember Peter in the upper room tells Jesus after he tells him about Satan's desire to sift him. Right after he says this, Peter, after Jesus discloses that one, the one who would betray him was at the table with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right at that moment, Peter says to him, Lord, I'm going to go with you, with you both to death and to prison. Wherever you go, I'm ready. I hear I am. I'm ready to go with you, Jesus. Wherever you want to go. And, and Jesus had to, had to correct them right then again. And he said, Peter, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about you. I know you got all of these well wishes. Mm -hmm. I know you want to do all of this. I know all you got that, all of all this that. desire and all this. Mm -hmm. But Peter, let me tell you something about you. Mm -hmm. Did I need God to tell you about you. Lord, have mercy. He said, you before, the, before the, the rooster can crow three times, Peter, you're going to deny me. Before it can crow today, you're going to deny me three times. You're going to deny the very fact that you know me. Mm. But right now, you're trying to tell me you are doubt for me. Mm. You are doubt with me. Mm. Let me tell you how much I know you. Mm. Mm. Can you imagine what Peter must have felt like when he when it actually happened? Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine yeah. how it felt inwardly? Yeah. How, how it felt inwardly about, he, about how he felt inwardly. When he turned on Christ, yeah. the one who had he had walked with, the one he saw do miraculous works, and he saw him feed the hungry, and how he shared in all that he had done. And yet, when it came time for him to stand up for Christ, he denied him mm -hmm. three times. But I thank God, Jesus, for a fish fry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. For a fish fry. 
Because see, in the, in the, in the midst of all of this, when Jesus is going to Calvary and being crucified, see, Peter has run and, he, and, and has hidden away. Mm -hmm. Because he, he's got to be ashamed. He's got to be embarrassed because he's got to be telling Jesus, told me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to do this. Yeah. yeah and yeah. maybe Peter, mm -hmm. like some of us at that moment, felt like I'm too far gone. Mm. I'm too far gone. He told me that I was going to do it. I'm too far gone. And you know, we forget sometimes the things that, that God says to us, the things that Christ said to us. Maybe he forgot that Jesus told him on the back end of things that I prayed for you. And while he was hiding, he didn't remember that. Mm -hmm. And so Peter is now hidden away because maybe he's hurt, maybe he's embarrassed, and maybe he, he's beginning to realize I'm not the strong man that I think that I am. I'm, I'm a little bit weaker and I'm not as strong as I thought I was. And he forgot that Jesus told him that he prayed for. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm yeah. thankful for this prayer. Mm. Thankful. Because over in the book of John, after the resurrection of Christ, the disciples are out on the sea fishing again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because they had gone back to what was familiar to them. Because mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't there. He'd been crucified and he, he wasn't there. He had died and they didn't realize that, that he had been resurrected. So they they naturally we tend to when we don't understand something, we go back to yes, the things yes, that we are familiar yes, with. Yes, 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 we do. Yes, we do. Yes, yes we do. Familiar. So they went back fishing. Familiar. Yes, we do. They went back fishing out on the boat. And so they went out fishing and and, and they come back and they, they walk back and they look down the shore a little bit and there's a smoke because there's a fish fry. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Jesus that's frying fish. Mm. And they like much like they were sitting around the table mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At, the, at the communion table. Mm -hmm. Now they're sitting around the fire mm -hmm. at a fish fry. Mm -hmm. And Jesus begins to talk to people because see, Peter, I believe if Jesus doesn't do this, Mm -hmm. Peter won't feel like he's capable of carrying out the divine assignment. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. Yeah. that's right. And some of you just like Peter thought you had stepped away so far away until you forgot there's a divine assignment that's on your life. So maybe you need to stop by this fish fry with Peter mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. And so he says to, to Peter at the fish fry, he says, uh, Simon, Remember, he before he said Simon, Simon, but he says, Simon, son of John, mm. you denied me three times. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm going to restore you with <laughs> a threefold assignment. Jesus. I was like, what the? <laughs> he said, Simon, son of John, mm. do you love me more than these? Yes. Lisa, I love you. D, I love you. I love you. Janelle, I love you. Tanisha, I love you. I love you right But now. when it comes to my love for Jesus, yeah. come on, come on, come it's on. It's a little come bit on. more. Yes. Because my ability to love you all comes from my ability to love Jesus. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, Peter, do you love me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Lord, I love you. And I like, maybe the first time he, he just kind of eased into it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord, I, I love mm -hmm. you. Feed mm -hmm. my lamb. And the, the other day at the council, um, Pastor um, um, uh, Coven talked about these lambs. He said the lambs are the ones that are the immature sheep. Mm. They're not as quite as mature as the rest of you. He says, so wow. be careful how you handle the lambs. Mm. So he says, feed my lambs. Yeah, yeah. And he says, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said, yes. Lord, you know I love you. Tend my sheep. Tend my sheep. In, the, in, in, in John's translation, he says, tend to the sheep. Mm -hmm. Go see about my sheep. Help to mature my lamb. Mm -hmm. But tend to my sheep. Mm -hmm. The ones that have been mm -hmm. there. When my sheep get sick, go see about my sheep. Mm -hmm. When my sheep get hungry, feed my sheep. Tend to my sheep. Yeah, yeah. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Lord, you know everything you know i love you. jesus feed my sheep feed my sheep if you love me. he's a restore mm -hmm. he so this is restoring peter back yeah. to yeah, his yeah, yeah. rightful place as a disciple 
of Jesus mm -hmm. so he can continue with the divine assignment that's on his life. Yeah. And if you don't believe you have a divine assignment, ask the Gentiles in the <laughs> book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. it's Peter that brought the word mm -hmm. to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so yeah. God had to get Peter back in right standings mm -hmm. with him so he can continue all out the work yeah. that has been on his life all the time. Yeah. When he was in hiding, the assignment was there. Yeah. 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 When he walked away on the Sunday morning and never to step away, the assignment was still there. there. Yes. So I'm saying to somebody today, yes, he will restore you. Jesus. Remember, restoration is the act or the process of returning something to its earlier good condition or position or to its owner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody tonight. Mm. He's restoring you back yes. unto himself so you can continue the divine work that he has for your life. Let us pray. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Thank you for being our restorer. Thank yes, God. You, thank you, God, for taking us through the process. Jesus. And reminding us, oh God, that when we are in you, yeah. We cannot get too far from you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, oh God, because when we feel like we are at our lowest place, when we feel like we've done so much so wrong against you that's not pleasing to you, God, that you still will ask us the question, do you love me? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I thank you, oh God, because you continue to show us who you are in our lives. Yeah, yeah. I thank you, oh God, because I was a nibbler myself. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But you found me, oh God, put me on your shoulders and brought me back. Yes, God. And so now, God, I pray for those that are under the sound of my voice that may feel like we have felt that we got so far away from you that we could not get back to you. But I thank you, God, because you will find us in our lowest places, in yes, our darkest will, moments, God. in our hardships, and in our difficulties, yes, and in mind. I pray for you. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I loved you when you thank thought you were you. unlovable. Thank you, Lord. I helped you when you thought that there was no help. That was me. Jesus. Because I had an assignment on your life. Jesus. So I thank you now, God. Thank you. And God. I bless thank your name. You. Thank you, God, for those that are Ooh. listening. I pray, God, that you meet them at the point of their need and that you draw them closer to you. Yeah, yeah. That they might know that you are a rewarder. Yeah, yeah. Especially of those that diligently seek you. Seek him today. And watch what he restored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And all that belongs to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. And amen. 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 Oh my goodness. Amen. Oh my goodness. My, my God. God. My God. My God. My never. My never. Mm, mm, mm. My God. <sighs> this is the part where we just have dialogue. If it's something that you want to share, put it in your comments. I have no idea what time it is. Put it in the comments. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put it in the comments, and we discuss it. That Dr. Nelson, just understanding, just hearing. I prayed for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That right there. Mm -hmm. That right there for you. That part. Mm -hmm. That part. Yeah. Jesus, who we pray to, pray for mm -hmm. us. Pray for oh, us. Jesus. I have prayed for you. I don't know the enemy wants you. I know he wants you. We ask him, but I have prayed for you. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. There are so many people um, out here who have gone so far believe that they are too far mm -hmm. too mm -hmm. far out mm -hmm. to come back mm -hmm. yep and we're not Thanks but how do, we know? how do we know somebody else got to tell the story yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. how how do i know how how can yes. you convince me that i'm not too far out that god mm -hmm. still wants me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because God got my attention mm -hmm. at Club Topaz, mm -hmm. sitting at the bar, drinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Way gone. Mm -hmm. Is that a word? Way gone. Way gone. Way gone. Way gone. Mm -hmm. 
You were nibbling. Mm -hmm. nibbling. Way, I'm, I'm in a whole nother field somewhere right. else. Right. But there was somebody there who continued to ask me to invite me to church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God will send. Yep. Yep. He will send after you. Yes, he will. You're never too far, but but you know, with a lot, so many times we keep mm. our journeys. We 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 don't like to tell anybody what God rescued us from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. like the pretty situations, yeah. the pretty stories. It's not always pretty. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when we don't tell the story, yeah, 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 right, it's because we want to be glorified. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All my life, I've always yeah. been good. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. Yeah. I was 100 yeah. about 100 times. Yeah. I was at 100 yeah. about 100 times. Oh, yeah. And each time, oh, yeah. our father came to get me. Yes. yes. And if he came to get me, he'll come to get you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. God is a restorer. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter who you are. Who you are. What gender you Hallelujah. are. It doesn't Hallelujah. matter. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. It don't matter. So if you out there yeah. believe that you have nothing to offer to the kingdom, that's a lie from the pity. Yes, yes it, is. it is. Yes, it is. God wants you. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you have an assignment. Our assignments don't disappear mm -hmm. just because we've gotten off track. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because when God gets you back remains. on track, he's going to sit you right where you fell off. <laughs> continue your assignment. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now you've been through some stuff. Now you got no wisdom behind you. So I, I'm, I, I'm believing yeah. you're going to get this assignment done. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It's, it's almost like sometimes when we, we, Jesus. We, we, we accept Christ and we get ourselves in line with some things and start working and work our ministry and doing mm -hmm, some things mm -hmm. for God. It's like Satan say, I'm coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you think you all that now. I'm yeah. coming. I'm coming for you. But like you said, he had to ask permission. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had, had to ask, ask permission. And and that's and 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 I may be saying it wrong and, and, and correct me, but sometimes that's what helps to authenticate what you're doing. Mm. Yeah. Because if you haven't been through anything, what authenticates what you're doing? Jesus. Because a lot of times your ministry is birthed out of your yes, it is and out of your purpose. Yes, it is. Is because you're the testimony as out to what God tears. will do. Out of your tears. When you, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Who better to tell you how God can restore you from the use or the abuse of drugs, there's somebody that's been restored from you. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Because absolutely. they know where you're being or somebody that's, that knows what it means to be away from God. I ain't going to church. I don't care nothing about no church. And look at, is that such and such? Yeah, 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 he can pour water. Yes. I remember yes. when he told me yes. they couldn't melt and pour you in the church. Yeah. But here you are. And that, but it's the testimony. Yeah. How did you get here? That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. How, how, did, how you... did you get from that perception of going and belonging to God to be sitting on the pew mm -hmm. serving mm -hmm. God? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the opportunity for me to say, let me tell you the story. Yes. Let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. And if he did it for me, he mm -hmm. is no respecter of person. Absolutely, he'll do no that. respecter of person. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think I think Minister Gwen Hazel heard you before you said it, because she said Jesus prayed for me. Yeah, I am restored. I step back yeah. on track. Mm -hmm. Come on, to find people say experience is the best teacher. Mm, yes, yes. Janelle says, Janelle Hunter, our sister say, we serve a good, good God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, sister Branch, Sister Branch came in, I gotta find her comment. She said, that's the gospel. Mm -hmm. Restoration mm -hmm. unto our God. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Minister Al McCann said, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. He said, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My God. I, I, tell, I tell you, I know when when we talk about how God will restore your life and 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 bring you back, I, I can remember when I was in when I was in college, when I left Detroit to go to the University of Missouri, mm -hmm. and and I was down there 
my 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 older sister lived there, but as far as campus life and all of that, I was kind of on my on my own. But the one thing about it is, God never allowed me to miss worship. Mm. Jesus, I mean, uh, you know, I did my college thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did yeah. Like college restoration, <laughs> restoration. <laughs> but I knew that there was something deeper happening in my life. I wasn't quite sure. I was saved when I left. I was born to church, I've been baptized, but I knew it was something deeper happening in my life when I was in college. I never missed Sunday morning worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never missed Wednesday night. Bible study. Mm -hmm. I mean, I took and I work midnights. Mm -hmm. I would leave Bible study in the church bus. I had no car. Yeah. The church bus dropped me off at work <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday nights. On Sunday mornings, my 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 roommate and I, we she she worked at she worked afternoons and I worked midnight. Look, we would take the she take the cab. I take the cab to work to get there at 11 o'clock and she take the same cab home back to the apartment because mm -hmm. she got off at 11 o'clock and we would we were scraping up or whatever but it's something about how God kept us mm -hmm. yeah 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 back then yeah yeah, yeah. That I I knew yeah, that yeah. there was a God that was working on my behalf yes. I mean I was yeah I was so broken college I can't even describe broke Mm -hmm. But what kept me was every morning I would wake up mm. and my prayer song was Lionel Richie's Jesus is Love. Mm. That, that song bathed my life every yes. morning. And when I didn't want to go, when I, didn't, when I didn't have food to eat, I could hear that song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I would know that God would provide. Mm -hmm. for me, that God would restore, that restore. he would give me what I needed to make it through that journey that I was in. And when I got mm -hmm. out there, I don't want to be bothered with any of this no more. I'm going to try to go out and hang out and do whatever. Mm -hmm. It was like God had a rope yeah. that he gently yeah, yeah. Would, he would just kind of, I, I would imagine God was in heaven, let me go get her because she didn't get <laughs> yeah. Come on back. Yeah. That, was that, that was that shepherd with that staff <laughs> pulling you just reaching yeah, out gently yeah. he just he just and restores hooking, yeah. and, just restores. And, and and not just you know i want people to also understand when it comes to mental health when it comes to mental health concern yes. that stands for you it goes for yes. that too god will restore yeah mm -hmm. we'll yeah. restore mm -hmm. our minds yeah. you know yeah, yeah absolutely we'll restore yeah. our minds we'll restore our yeah. hearts yes. yes yes you know it god it, it doesn't say except for Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, there is yeah. no exception. There's no except for. Yeah. So you are included. We are included when we are suffering from mm -hmm. mental health illnesses yeah. or mental mental health concerns. God is a restorer. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He is. Yeah. yeah. But I you know it. what I think, especially for the part when you said He asked Peter three times, yeah. "Do you love me?" Yeah. I think He had to re make Peter remember. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, do you love yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Peter haphazardly the first answer was yes lord i love yeah. you and then he asked him again but he gave him his assignment yeah yeah but he needed peter to remember yeah you love me yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. regardless to what has happened yeah you love me mm -hmm. yeah and when we remember who we are and yeah. whose we are yeah. We rise to the cage. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think that was part of it. I actually heard a preacher say that, that the three questions were so Peter could grasp. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yes, he had to restore, I love, he he had, to restore. He had to restore his yeah. mind, yes. restore yeah. his heart. Yeah. Yes, I let you down. I denied you, but I love you. Mm -hmm. And so, absolutely. So, so it goes on to say that's what makes that first Peter 5 and 10 authentic. Yes. Because after he's gone through all of this, He's done it after he's gone through the work of ministry. He's preached and he's taught and he's done some things for God. He turns around in First Peter. Yes. You know, flip back to that and listen to it again. In First Peter five and ten says, and says, "After you have suffered, mm -hmm. after you have suffered. for a little while, mm -hmm. ah, 
Huh? You have to have gone through some things. Yeah, right yes. like this. absolutely. That, you have suffered for a absolutely. little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This says the God of all grace. Yes. All grace. Who has called you, Lisa. Yes. yes. You, Tanisha. You, Janelle. You, D. You who are listening after he has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself. Yes. He said nobody else. Yeah. Will yeah, yeah. himself. Restore. Mm -hmm. I will restore you mm -hmm. at a fish fry. Yeah. At a fish fry. I don't know where yours was. Maybe it wasn't a fish <laughs> fry for you. Yes, yeah. right. Maybe it was at uh what you call it club who tope. Yeah, maybe it was there. Chuck's me. Well, yeah, Chuck's maybe, 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 maybe it was in me and my places that I was. Maybe, maybe it was there. But after he says he will restore you himself, and not only that, he will confirm you. Yes, yes. Those around you will know that you have been restored. And mm. he says, and then I'll strengthen you. Yes. yes. I'm gonna give you the strength you need for the journey you on. Yes. yes. And then he says, and then I'm gonna I will assume establish you yes yeah see, see he said he will god will the god of all grace establishes you yes. so if you think there's somebody out there that can take away from you what god has given you remember mm -hmm. they didn't establish mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. the stuff that you've been yeah. through yeah mm -hmm. yeah god yeah. used it yeah yeah to shape you to mold yeah. you yeah he says, now i'm gonna take it now I'm gonna strengthen you, yeah, yeah, with this, yeah, so that you can be a testimony mm -hmm. for the kingdom of who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I placed you in the earth to be a witness mm -hmm. as to who I am mm -hmm. in the life of a believer. nobody but God. Nobody, you ain't perfect. Nobody, but, but you've been prayed for. That's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You ain't got it all together yet, but it's God's grace. That's right, and God's mercy. That's that right, keeps and sustains yes. us. Mm -hmm. If some folks out there. Who has not who have not accepted their assignment yeah because you are ashamed yeah. Yeah. of the life you lived mm -hmm. that you are afraid of what the side lag chatter people may say yeah. mm -hmm. side but line god line yes but god will restore you strengthen you and establish you mm -hmm. you hold your head up Yes, and you can complete. You uh, complete the assignment, accept the assignment, accept the charge, whatever it is that God has for you. Yes. Mm. Because yes. the people standing on the sidelines, yes, it ain't their assignment to give or take. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hold your head up, mm. move <coughs> forward in the ministry or whatever God has called you to do. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, because He called you. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Because you have suffered a little while. <laughs> and it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. So when we say that God is a restorer, that means you too. Amen. That Amen. means you too. Amen. If I can get up, ooh, baby, 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 baby. baby. If I can get up, ooh. you can get up. Yes. You can get up. You can get up. You can get up. You can get up. Hold your head up and move in the power. Move in the power that God has poured into you. Dr. Yes. Nelson, my God, my God, my God. I thank God. Mm. I, thank, I thank God that God constantly reminds me of what God has done in, in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really do. And this is this is a season for me, I, mm -hmm. I promise you, where I just want people to see the God that's in their life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just want them to see how God is mm -hmm. moving. And if if you don't know him, mm -hmm. if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, if you never heard me beg you for anything, mm -hmm. give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. I, and I'm not promising you, you, you will not ever hear me say that when you do it, that everything's going to be all right. Yeah. But what I can promise you, your life will be better with him mm -hmm. than it is without him. Okay. Yeah. Say that. He, say he, that. He died for you. Yeah. Say that. Now. He died for you, so that you could be in right relationship, so that you don't have to journey through this life alone. Mm -hmm. I know you got friends, you got loved ones, you got all of that, but mm -hmm. there is no friend mm -hmm. like Jesus. That's I promise right. you. Yes. I promise you, there's no friend like Jesus, and He will transform your life. Absolutely. Transform Absolutely. your life. 
I thank you all so much for listening to us tonight. It has been a blessing, a tremendous blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Nelson. This has been a blessing. This has been amazing. This has been wonderful. My leg been shaking <laughs> at seven o'clock. Lord run. have mercy. When you think about restoration and you know that you have been a recipient. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. My God. Minister L, you said live, do not live it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my God. Move forward. Understand yes. that yes. God is a restorer. Mm -hmm. And you are included. Yes. You and know, he will I restore time, so and time yes. and time. Yes. Because I'm a witness. I yes. have been restored. Jesus. Time and time. Yes. And don't think, well, he restored me and I fell again. God is amazing with his grace and his mercy mm -hmm. yes. again and again. Mm -hmm. So Amen. we thank you all. We thank you for joining us. We pray that this has blessed you. We gonna. This is the month of restoration. Minister D will come back next week um, and she will bring a message and I will bring a message. And then we have our some special. We got Minister Al McCann. He's coming week four with his team. Yes. And they're going to talk about restoration from a man's perspective. Amen. That's going to be good. Yes. That is going yes. to be good. So Absolutely. make sure that you stick with us for the for the entire month of restoration. So we will see you next Friday at 6.30 a.m. Don't forget to follow us. Coming up for Air Counseling Ministries and share. Share this on your page. Bless yes. you and yes. thank you thank for you. joining us this evening. Love you. Bye. Have a Hello, good evening. Pastor Bye. Portia, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you Have for joining us. Yes. <laughs>